you have is our law allowing the governor to have such extensive power over the Department of Justice, and you have more and more uh, governors exercising that power in totality rather than holding back and not exerting so much power with that department. And it's such a critical department because it, it's, the Attorney General is the chief prosecutor. And uh, so much needs to be done in there, but if the governor is permitted, as the law permits uh, or provides, if the, if the governor is permitted to um, hire and fire at will, uh, then the true justice for the people does not get served. Well, you know, with our organization, United We Stand VI, we are we are the voice of the people. And, you know, I don't yeah. know, I know that you said you've already addressed, you know, your your your, your part and in, in how you feel about your resigning and, 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 and you don't want to continue to hash at it. But you do realize that, you know, you are in a position to where this is not going to go away. People are going to continue to ask you, you know, what needs to be done? What are you going to do? Are you going to continue to fight for... Um, uh, you know, against the corruption in the Virgin Islands. Well, that's the only way to do that is to now have a movement to change the law so that the Attorney General is no longer appointed by the governor but is independent and is elected by the people. And then you have an independent Department of Justice which has its own employees, not at the will of the governor, and has its own budget. And until that happens, we will not have an independent attorney general. So do you do you feel um, as, you know, have you had a lot of backlash from you resigning? What do you mean backlash? A backlash negative? from backlash, yeah, negative backlash from, uh, from MAP supporters. Yes, MAP supporters have gone on the radio and they've, I, I assume they're MAP supporters, have gone on the radio and I'm, my name was really slandered all over the place. Um, I was called, uh, it was said of me, I had a flawed character. And I, my position is, I was, my character would be flawed if I stayed in that position um, and continued to operate with my hands tied. So I'd rather hold my head up high and have left than to continue to stay in there uh, based on what was happening with me and my power being curtailed as the Attorney General. Uh, and I just, I, I really feel that uh, they're going to, they're going to smear my character anyway and they're going to distort the facts. And that's why I felt that I owed an explanation to the people of the Virgin Islands as to why I did what I did. And I gave four reasons. There are many more, but I gave four reasons. And I feel those were sufficient, and now I'm carrying on. I want to champion the cause to amend the law, and it can be done. But if people really want to fight corruption, this is the first battle in the war against corruption, because the corrupt forces do not want to change the law. They want to keep it the way it is and give the governor and, and allow the governor to have his unfettered power. It's only by us changing the law will the will we really be able to begin this war against corruption? Well, I mean, and I, I once again, I commend you. I support you. Um, but once again, you know, this is the reason for the radio show because my thing is people want to hear the unedited version. And, and, and that's what we do. You know, we stand VI. We don't, um, we don't tiptoe around the issue. We go directly at you, you know, and we will find you. We will hunt you down. We'll have cameras in your face and we will ask you those tough questions. And I think people need to hear the real truth. And that's what we're looking for from you because you've already opened the door. Well, the real truth is what I said already. And, well, and you what said, I well, well Mrs. Colfelt, you said there was other reasons besides the four reasons that you named. Sure, but I don't have to divulge them, and I don't see any reason to divulge them. Okay. I gave I gave four reasons, and, and in my mind, those are more than sufficient uh, for the people to consider. And I, I won't divulge anything. I don't care if you put cameras in my face. I won't divulge anymore because I believe that the bigger issue is the fact that we need to change the law. It right. isn't a map versus me scenario. Right. And that's what his supporters want to do. They want to, to bring it down to personality issues. And 
And then they were saying, oh, I was bopping people around and I wanted it the COFELT administration rather than the MAP administration. And they were just making, pulling things out of the air and, and, and going on the radio and saying it as if it was true. And, uh, and it was because of my silence. And I didn't believe that I wanted to respect the governor and I didn't believe that the issue should be between me and him. The issue had to be more as to moving forward with that Department of Justice. And I, I took some time to decide how I was gonna, going to approach it. But essentially, the people had a lot of hope. Just like you said, there was a lot of hope in me being the person to start changing that Department of Justice around. But the way it's structured legally it's going to be very difficult for anybody to do that. Anybody who has a genuine interest to, to do a good job because the governor has such unfettered power. So we have to limit the power of the governor. So what, what, what action can we take? What, what action can the citizens and the, the, the concerned community of the Virgin Islands take? What do we do? Where do we go? How do well, we act? Okay, that's why I said I was championing the cause. We, uh, we formed a small group, and we we're creating a website, and it's uh, www.justicevi.org, and we're going to have petitions there that people can print out and, and get signatures on, or people in the states can sign on the Internet. We're going to make it confidential, so you can't see who else has signed. So we're working on all that, and it's all volunteer because it's not as if we have any money to work with. But the movement is to uh, put pressure on the legislature to uh, agree with the election of, of the attorney general, that the law should be changed to elect the attorney general and to have an independent Department of Justice, and have them vote on a resolution to then uh, that we can then take to the United States Congress which has to do the eventual amending. But we can go to the delegate and have the delegate assist us, and that's the other thing, to put pressure on the delegate. And uh, and until the people speak out and put pressure on all these politicians, we, we won't move anywhere. It's so that's true. why I said I'm championing the cause for the people to, to, to start doing that, to talk to their senators, and talk to the delegate. And once we're able to get that resolution out of our legislature, then we can move towards Congress. And we have people in the Virgin Islands, there's a Republican-controlled Congress and Senate, and we have uh, top people in the Virgin Islands who have contact in the state, and we will use those contacts, and then we have a delegate who will have her contact. So it, it has been done before, and it, it's a, just a matter as, how, as to how quick the people are going to join this movement. Okay, well, well, my thing is you have a, a huge support system with United, United We Stand VI and other concerns. I mean, you have an overwhelming uh, um, uh, group of supporters. And um, I just want to make sure I let you know that because you're not going to be able to do the radio show, I'm recording the conversation so I can let the listeners hear that I did talk to you. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Now, as far as uh, getting involved with this organization and what you're trying to do, can you give us that information once more? Uh, yes. What we're doing is we've created a website. It's www.justicebi.org, uh, and we will have petitions on that website. People can download and print and then get signatures, as well as uh, relatives, in the state, uh, people who have connections to the Virgin Islands who live in the states will be able to sign the petitions online. We're going to we're going to do as much as we can to make sure that uh, the signatures are confidential, meaning that you can't get the petition online and see who else has signed it. It's just your information that you'll be able to see uh, that you signed it, and we will approach the legislature here, each of the senators, and move toward getting a unanimous uh, vote from our legislature to, in the form of a resolution to amend the revised organic act so that the people can elect the attorney general and we can have an independent department of justice. So the, the, the uh, people need to speak with their senators, write letters, do what they can, and then uh, also speak with the delegates, write letters, 
and uh, do what's necessary to convince the delegate. I haven't spoken to anyone in the Senate or the delegate, uh, Stacey Plaskett, yet about this. So we're just all in the planning stages. But that's what has to be done. And once we have a resolution coming out of our legislature, we have the delegate on board with us, then we will go to Congress. And with the connections that are in the Virgin Islands, we will be able to meet with the appropriate people to get the U.S. House of Representatives and the Senate to pass a law that will allow us to elect our Attorney General. Well, I, once again, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me. I was definitely going to keep calling until I got you, but I'm definitely thankful that you did take the time and, um, and speak with me. Um, you are, do you believe that you'll be running again for governor anytime soon in the Virgin Islands? <laughs> I don't know. The next election is 20, 2018. I mean, that's all on my mind. My mind is, is really to push for the electing of the attorney general because that's so crucial. And the people... As I mentioned, the people were very hopeful that they would see a change and there would be justice for them. And by my resigning, I felt I owed the people the explanation uh, as to why I did what I did. And then the people, as I went through the community, told me that they had no hope. But we have to continue to have hope. And I tell people I'm a Christian and we need to pray for our governor. We need to pray for those who are in authority and not give up hope. And the way out of this uh, situation is to move forward now, united and being bold so that we can have the law amended. It can't just be me standing in the by myself. Oh, let, Miss, no. Miss, Mrs. Colfell, I feel you on that. I feel the same way, okay? <laughs> I understand, and, you're, and let me tell you, you're not alone. United We Stand VI, every one of my members, everyone that listens to me, everyone that is supporting you, we are behind you 100%. Once you get this movement um, and the foundation together, I'm sure you'll see that in numbers because we are ready for okay. change in the Virgin okay. Islands. We're ready, and, and we're thankful for you. Thank you again for taking the time and talking to me, and uh, best of luck in everything that you're doing, and I can't wait to meet with you again and talk to you again. Thank you again, Mrs. Cole. Okay, thank you. Okay. Thank All you right, again. And also okay. make sure you make sure you um um you gotta say it before you hang up. Uh support United We Stand VI. <laughs> and endorse I'm sorry, it. what did you say? You have to endorse the United We Stand VI with your name and everything like that. <laughs> and how do you do that? All you gotta do is say this is da 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 and I'm supporting United We Stand VI, you know, get involved with the community, blah 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 blah. Oh, do you want me to say that now? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, this is Soraya Diazzi Colfup. I support uh, United We Stand VI and get involved uh, in our everything that's happening in the U.S. Virgin Islands is very critical. The people need to speak. This is a people's movement. The people need to speak out and speak out with a, a loud voice. Thank you so much, Mrs. Colfup. Okay. Have a good evening. Have a great evening. You too. Bye. Bye.